and cultural events in California. And it's happening this weekend. Marianne, find out a little more on how to make an authentic Portuguese recipe. Well, it smells delicious. Let me it tell you. It smells. Uh, you should be right here. I'm telling you, all these spices that are going into this dish. Uh, this is uh, Dennis Nito is going to be cooking for us. This festival has been going on for, uh, this is the 123rd year? 123rd year, yeah. Wow. Amazing. So it is one of the longest in California. And this, uh, the Portuguese have a very uh, rich history right here in the Sacramento Valley. Yes, I didn't realize. Do. Yes. They settled in. In fact, this is happening in Clarksburg, and we'll tell you more about the event coming up. But that's a, 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 one of the places that they settled when they came up to this part yeah, of California. Yeah, they settled all the pocket and the, and the Clarksburg area. So the pr primarily Portuguese people in that area. In fact, we were just looking at that picture. Are those are relatives of yours? My is that aunt right? is the queen, and my mother is a maiden. On uh, oh, look at that! That's my mother, 1937. Oh, how neat! Well, this smells delicious. So, what's kind of the heart of a Portuguese cooking? Well, it's like a beef broth, basically. Oh, um, you have the onions good. and celery and garlic. And then the beef, and so you put it under your onions and celery into the pot, and just basically throw it all in together. Kind of throw it all in and just let yes, it kind of simmer and let up. It go. Huh? You throw your meat in. Wow, what kind of meat is that you're putting in there? This is chuck, but in, traditionally mm -hmm. we used to just whole donated cows, but that, we don't do that anymore. No, okay. So all your vegetables, and then you get your garlic. What's this dish called, by the way? Do you have an official name? Sopas y carne in mm -hmm. Portuguese, which is uh, beef soup, basically. Beef soup, yeah. okay. Soup with meat, and then soup a little beef base. And then I, I make a spice bag where I put whole pickling spice. Look at this. That is beautiful. Coriander. Pickling spice. Coriander. C uh, celery seed. Wow. Basil. And uh, oregano. Oh, my gosh. And then I have a little chili. And then I just tie it up into a little pouch so that the, the seasonings flavor oh. the meat, but they don't actually get in with the meat. Oh. So that... That's interesting. Yeah, otherwise it gets kind of obnoxious. Uh, would it be? <laughs> but that, that's a lot of spice, so it would just yeah. be too overpowering if you did it that way? So well, no, you get a bite of a, oh, you get like a, a chunk of it. or a, a oh, chunk of pepper, I see, I see, I see. and that would be very unpleasant. You're not even measuring that, okay? No, You're just I, dumping I, it in. You're just dumping it in. A little bit of white wine, a lot of red wine. <laughs> you know, and, I'm looking around, and I see no measuring cups no, 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 no. anywhere that's not, on we, the set. We can't do that. Measure, measure. That's for right. sissies. We're just throwing it all in so, there. So then we cook it all up. <laughs> at the end, we'll, we'll throw in some mint at the very end. And then at the end, we'll also add some salt. Mm. How then, long do you let that go? Uh, four hours. Four it's, hours? Yeah, at least huh? four hours, yeah. Yeah, okay. The longer, the better, I say. Let it go. Let it go. And then we have the... Mm, this one's been going for a bit over the, here. I started this at midnight. Ah. Oh. And so we got a nice hunk of meat that we put on oh. the platter. Oh, look at that. And then to serve it all up. And I see the mint over here. It smells so good. Yeah, and we have some uh, oh collard gosh. greens, which is koivsh. Mmm. That plate looks delicious. And then, Look at this. Let's put it right down here. And can you come around and we come around here, Mike, and take a peek at that? Isn't that nice? And then it looks like you're making a little. Uh, and then you put the broth over the bread with the mint, ooh. and you really get the smell of the mint oh, that really kicks it up. Let me give you the details. This is coming up the 123rd Portuguese Festa. Sunday uh, over Memorial Day weekend. If you're going to be in town, a great place to go from 10 to 4 at Portuguese Hall in Clarksburg, just on the other side of the Sacramento River from the uh, pocket area. You go over the bridge and then head south down the, uh, the river road there. And uh, just follow your nose because it smells so good in here. You're not going to miss that. Outstanding. Plating it. Yeah. Those spices so smell so good. You get the meat mm. and the bread mm. with a little mint on there and the oh. juice. And it's kind of a cross between French onion soup and a uh, Philly uh, dip. I love it. It's just another take on a, just a dip. delicious dish. Mm -hmm. Isn't that outstanding? I'm just going to put that over here with my notes and <laughs> maybe just bring it back over to the set. Thank you, Dennis, for coming in and doing all this for us. Thank you for having Thank me. You. That's good stuff. 123rd. Yeah. yeah, you can find more information, too, on our website under our show info link on gooddaysacramento.com, guys. Fantastic. Yeah. All right.